Hello and welcome to the first video in our webcast series on the topic of solids and contact. Um, this video is going to focus on some of the background principles that we're going to need for the topic in general and we're going to look in specifically at the extreme generator. So we'll begin by first of all looking at a, a typical solid that we're likely to encounter. Here we have a sphere both in 3D and in 2D over here. Now the extreme generator is basically what defines the outline of the object that we see when we look at the object itself. So if we take our sphere here like that, we know that our plan elevation end view are projections of the image of our object. So that is to say it's a bit like a shadow being cast or thrown from our object here onto our planes of reference. Here's our vertical plane, here's our horizontal plane. So depending on which view we're looking at, um, that's going to be our image thrown like a shadow onto our screen like so. So let's have a quick look at how this happens here with the likes of our sphere. So as we stand in front of the object like so, whatever image we see here is going to be thrown like a shadow onto our vertical plane. So what defines what we see though, or the outline of what we see, um, can be described a little bit like casting light onto our object here. So if you can imagine shining a torch onto our sphere here like so, well what we're going to get is the front half of the object in light, and then the back half of the object here in shade. And this curve here, this circle that we see here that separates the light from the dark, well that is our extreme generator. And that goes on then to form the outline of our front elevation as we see projected here like so. And if we have a closer look at the relationship between our viewing direction and the object, we'll see over here in our 2D that looking in from the front, if we draw a line perpendicular to our viewing direction, through the center of our circle, well that's where the extreme generator is located in our plan view. So here is the outline of our extreme generator located in our front elevation, and here it is seen as a line separating the front and the back of the object in our plan view. And the same can be said then if we look from above into our plan view. Well in this case if we we're shining our torch from above, the top half of the object is going to be in light, the bottom half here is going to be in shade, and this equator line here is going to be the outline or our extreme generator that's going to be projected into our plan view. So here we have our extreme generator, again perpendicular to our viewing direction looking from above um, and crossing through the center of our circle. And this extreme generator here is this outline in our plan view. So it provides us a way to tie our plan view to our front elevation and we're going to be very, very use, use it um, quite a bit when it comes to locating points on our solid. So this can be also said no matter what angle we look at. So if you can imagine looking in from a different direction here from the side, well the exact same thing is true. This portion in light, this portion in dark, and here's our extreme generator. Again, always perpendicular to our viewing direction. And in this case here it would be cast onto an auxiliary plane um, to give us our extreme generator as we would see it as true. So here we see the same thing here. The, this relationship between our viewing direction and our li perpendicular line through the center is always maintained, giving us the outline of our extreme generator, in this case our auxiliary view. And this extreme generator idea, this idea of casting our shadow, holds true for all types of solids. So if we look, say, at the likes of our cone here, well, we have exactly the same thing. In this case here, a line through the center of our cone, perpendicular to our viewing direction, divides it in between light and dark. This is our extreme generator in plan view, and we can see giving us the extreme generator, the outline of our cone in elevation. In this case here, a triangle. So this is the line here, extreme generator here, that's thrown back like our shadow onto our vertical plane, giving us the extreme generator or the projections of our extreme generator in front elevation. So also the same can be said finally with the likes of our cylinder. So here we can see looking in from the front, again a line through the center here perpendicular to our viewing direction is going to separate the front and the back of the object and it's along this line here that we get the rectangle this time for our cylinder which is going to be our front elevation. So the outline or our extreme generator is here. This is the location in our 
plan view. So this is what the extreme generator is um, and how we locate it for a number of solids. Again, it just forms one of the background principles for the likes of our solids in contact. In our next video then, we're going to show you how to use the idea of the extreme generator to identify and locate points and transfer them from plan view up into our elevation and from elevation down into plan view. So thank you very much and stay tuned to the rest of the videos for more information.